Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I will tell you how to add and configure we manage Cisco we manage inside Eve community version. For this purpose, uh, you should have enough RAM and CPU inside your workstation. The minimum requirement of uh, we manage is 16 gigabyte RAM and 4 virtual CPU. Uh, I don't have this much resources but for the lab purpose only to tell you how to add and uh, initially configure this uh, v manage inside community, uh, e community version. Uh, I am giving uh, uh, 8 giga RAM and uh, 4 virtual CPU. So first of all you have to turn on your virtual machine Eve community virtual machine after turning it on you have to open the photo session if I can show you after powering on I get this IP address 192.168.192.129 so I open the photo session okay after opening the putty session you have to create one directory with the name of vtmgmt19.2.3 so just copy and uh, paste this command and click enter so our new directory with the name of vtmgmt is created now what we have to do we have to open filezilla and uh, make connection with the same IP address now you have to upload vtmgmt qc ow2 files inside directory that we created in the previous step so go to opt uh, lab add-ons and the queue here if you can see that we have this directory with the mgmt 19.2.3 is created so just drag and drop these two qco files in that directory you can see uh, upload is started and approximately it will it can take three to four minutes to upload these images if uh, anyone want these uh, hard drives these QCOW files you can request an uh, um, email uh, email is info at the rate networksdev.com please be careful when you are doing this process if you skip anything or you did not make anything correctly it will not work so all your efforts are wasted our upload is almost completed okay then we can see that now with the MGM directory have two hard disks one is hard disk A and the second is hard disk B so filezilla part is done and now you can open the putty again and you have to run this command to fix the permissions this command is very important so don't forget to run it so our next step is to open the GUI of the e
And so our page is open just by username and password. And I will create one new lab here with the name of SD Man. Click save. Now here we have to add the node. Here you can see that now the manage is visible and you can add just right click on this and you can see that we have a 19.2.3 version here you can see that it is asking for the minimum requirement for cpu and 16 gb ram i don't have this much ram so i will give 8500 almost 8.5 gigabyte it is up to you for better performance uh, you should give 16 gigabyte so our vmanage node is added as you can see on the topology now we have to add one cloud so that we can access vmanage for the GUI Get the wire in this adapter. Now, this step is very important. You have to start the vManage device. As you can see, that our vManage is started. Uh, now, you have to open the console. console is open now in this step you have to wait until unless uh, this console will tell you system is ready to use Maybe it will take uh, 5 to 7 minutes and it will reboot during this initializing, initializing phase and uh, when, you, uh, when the system is ready to use, next time when you shut down the device and reboot again, it will not take that much time. Just you have to power on the device and it will be ready to use. In this process, you have to wait until, unless system will tell you system is ready to use. What people are doing, they are not waiting. They are trying with passwords and when they give password for two to three times, uh, the console will log for the 15 minutes. Here you can see that uh, he's asking we manage login but till now system is not ready to use i can all as well show you give the username and give the password here you can see that system initializing please wait to login authentication failure so wait after that uh, we will give uh, IP address and uh, we'll do we'll make some initial configuration and I will tell you I will show you how to access in the browser
also uh, let me show you the resources comes up you know, just uh, click on the status you can see here cpu usage is 65% memory usage is uh, of 40% and disk usage is uh, 96% even though i gave a uh, four virtual cpu and uh, i gave 8.5 gigabyte ram and disk uh, we have a two disk uh, 100 and 100 gigabyte so you have to be careful about the resources so you can see that now Methods game Sunday October with the date and time system is ready to use. Just give login default username and password is admin. Admin. Now first you have to go to config mode. After going to config mode, you have to type this command system, and here you have to give host name but you want to give I will give a v manage 01 here you have to assign system IP address uh, 192.168.192. I will give now 160 the IP address you have to assign from the same range which your network card is using um, in your uh, EVE virtual machine so my network card have this IP address from this range so I will give this IP after that you have to hit enter you have to give site ID I will give one and uh, you can give organization name uh, I will give uh, Cisco and you can set, also uh, set uh, clock time zone I will set uh, okay now you have to write these configurations you have to put yes and all these configuration is written now you can also check your GUI is running or not so you can put this command request nms uh, nms question mark All status. Here you can see that NMS application server enabled, configuration database enabled, uh, coordination server enabled, messaging server enabled too. So you have to make sure all these services are running. When you will make sure, then you have to go to uh, your browser and you have to type this IP 192.168.192.160 after assigning IP address you have to wait uh, 2 to 3 minutes to initialize your GUI our IP is now 160 it is selected the ports by default 8443 so in some browser you have to write it manually column 8443 click on advance and click on proceed You can see that our GUI is open Cisco SD WAN, Cisco V Manage. You have to give same default username and password that was admin admin. You click on the login. After log in, our V Manage is ready to use. If you will add V Smart node will come here, then Azure Outdoors will come here, V Bond will come here. We have right now one V Manage. You can see here Reboot 24 hours.
it will tell you everything about the utilization about nodes about uh, transport interface distribution monitor geography here you can see the network settings our ip is uh, dot 160 reachable site id we give one and we have 19.2.3 our name was what we have set we manage zero one here you can administrate you can add user you can make cluster if you have to uh, here you can go to analytics first we have to enable it if you want to see the analytics here setting ssh terminal you want to open or not device configuration device you can manage certificate security you can get policies from here okay even so on you can see okay so let me show you the example now and let's check the here you can make a template that you can push on the node so in the upcoming videos uh, i will tell you how to configure the manage and we will make one lab on for sdvan for now uh, we have done the installation of uh, we manage and if you want this uh, qc ow files because if you download from other sources i don't know it will work or not uh, uh because i have imported these file first i have tested on other uh, system workstation then i have imported in this workstation to make the video on it so uh, if you want these files you can send me email i already give you the my email address and uh, this email address you can send me email to get these qcw files and you have to follow these steps to make it happen in upcoming videos i will also uh, tell you how to install and configure the bond uh, the edge will uh, i had all these devices in e community version and we will also make one lab so please don't forget to uh, subscribe and uh, turn my channel and uh, press on the bell icon so that you can get all new video notification thank you if you have any question you can ask in comment section